Hi, and welcome to today's presentation. My name is Roxanda Tudose. I'm a third year bachelor student at KDE Tutorial Institute of Technology, and I'm studying information and communication technology. In today's presentation, I'd like to talk to you about the binary number system. And therefore, I'd like to start with this example. Let's say I would ask, what is 12 plus one? Well, you would instantly tell me that's 13, which is correct. But then how about 28 minus two? Well, you'd say, Ruxandra, this is straightforward. I can do this even in my sleep, even with my eyes closed. That's 26. So what I'd like to put into the spotlight through this example is that some things may, such as a simple addition or a simple subtraction may seem simple to us humans. However, in contrast, these simple computation are actually complex steps that take place behind the scenes so that computers can actually reach to these results. And that is why in this context, simplicity is a subjective matter. And we have to think about all the complex steps computers have to go through. And the first step in dealing with this complexity is actually the number representation. How do we tell computers to understand that we're talking about 13 and not 12? Well, that is exactly when I'd like to introduce the binary number system. But before jumping to it, I'd like to talk about the decimal number because it helps us translate um, this concept into the world of computer easier, in the world of computers easier. So right here, I have a decimal number. It can be a number I can recognize anywhere in, in the everyday life. It's 9,742. And if it's a number in decimal, then I know that it can be written mathematically as a sum of powers of 10. Uh, and I'm uh, while decreasing the power of 10 from the left to the right. So I start with 9 times 10 to the power of 3, and then I decrease 7 times 10 to the power of 2, and so on and so forth. The analogy in the, in the world of computers is that we said, okay, we have to simplify this. In the world of computers, we're only going to use binary numbers, which means as the name suggests, we're only going to use two things, a one and a zero. And we're going to apply the exact mathematical approach. We're going to take the columns to the left and multiply to the powers of two. So I'm in this example, I will multiply one times two to the power of four. Then I'll take the zero in the next column and multiply, decrease the power of two and multiply it to the, uh, times two to the power of three. Take the next one, decrease the power of two because I'm working in a binary base and so on and so forth, add all these things up and get number 22 in decimal. So all in all, one can think of the binary number system as a series of zeros and ones a computer can understand. That's it. Thank you very much for watching.